Hello, and welcome to the 197th episode of Gaming Talk. On this episode, I'm going to be discussing and giving my thoughts on the VR game Robo Recall. Let's get into it. Now, I may be biased, but this is one of my personal favorite VR games. The action has such a great feel to it, everything flows great, and what you can do in the game is just... It makes you feel like such a badass. Sure, you can mow down robots with guns, but you can do more than just that. Now, I do think the game is a little light on the available guns. You get a handgun, revolver, shotgun, and plasma rifle, and that's it. Each weapon has five distinct upgrades that you will definitely not unlock in a single playthrough. And those upgrades are specific to that weapon, but they general fo- generally will follow the same part of each weapon. You know, each one will have a magazine upgrade, a sight upgrade, so on and so forth. It's not a bad selection, but, you know, they could have thrown, like, a submachine gun, an assault rifle, maybe a melee weapon, maybe a range, like a sniper rifle in there, too. I don't know. But a small variety of weapons, I guess, can be forgiven, given what else you can do. You can just upright, get up close, pull a robot apart if you want to. You can remove the head, the arms, you can snag their weapons from their hands freaking shoot them point blank if you want you know and and when you tear them apart you can just like like you could take an arm off and throw it at another robot or a leg or a head throw the remainder of their chest at something else you know um you could do all of that if you want to you can also use your guns to block incoming fire You can grab bullets out of the air. You can grab missiles out of the air and just throw them back. Same with the bullets. You could just throw them back if you want to. Or you can simply just dodge their fire. It's a little harder with the missiles because the explosion will hit you. But, you know, with regular bullets, you can freaking matrix that crap and dodge them if you want to. It's pretty fun. Uh, But, I mean, it may not sound like much, but... These added experiences, well, they do add to the combat experience of the game and make it all that much more fun. Now, I think the big problem with Robo Recall lies in the missions. The first is that there's just not that many of them. There's three areas with three missions each, nine missions total. The missions are all pretty much structured the same. You start by just killing robots, then a section of kill X number of robots, or capture X number of functioning robots, followed by a possible defend the robo replay and relay, and that's usually what a mission entails. Third mission of each area is always a boss fight, and you have the same boss fight each time, which, yes, it gradually gets... I don't know, more challenging is the right word, but, you know, the boss gradually changes over each fight. The game in general is just also so short that I wish there was more. The variety of enemies is weak too. You have basic melee bots, handgun bots, shotgun bots, plasma rifle bots, shield bots, shield bots with rocket launchers, missile launcher guys, and these big bots with big lasers. Um, and those are pretty much all the enemies you'll be dealing with the whole game. Sometimes they'll have different weapon variations of different weapon upgrades on their guns, but it's literally the same upgrades that you have access to, so nothing really special there. So yeah, Robo Recall, it's a super fun game with super fun action. Very small selection of guns, but really cool combat in the sense of everything else you can do with the guns, of course. And you can even dual wield guns. Doesn't really matter. But it is brought down by the limited weapon variety, the limited enemy variety, and just being short in general. 
and having really same feeling missions. By no means do I hate it, but I wish they would have done more with it. Robo Recall is a good and enjoyable game. That's all I gotta say, so if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for listening, and goodbye.